Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer the domain from Wix to Host Stinger in 2024. So transferring your domain can seem daunting, but don't worry. This step-by-step -step guide will guide you through each step of the process to seamlessly transfer your domain from Wix to Host Stinger. So make sure to stick by Let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser for me here. I'm using Brave for you. You can use this where you want. Once you open it, go to the CRL section, just sivewix.com. Go to both Wix and Hostinger as well. So hostinger.com and hit the enter button. If it's your first time, basically, you'll be taken to those uh, like those two things or two websites and set so i'll just show you how it's going to look for you so for example hosting will look something like that so just go to top right corner click on login to login into your account you can use uh, github google facebook if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even login into your account for wix it's going to be kind of the same you'll have as you can see here facebook i guess google and apple instead of uh, github so you don't have to go through all that boring steps so for wix i'm already logged in for Hosting an example, I'll just choose here my Google account to log in with it as I created my account with that Google account. And yeah, as you can see, I'm already logged in into both. So the first thing that you'll need to do, of course, is prepare your domain on Wix. We'll need to prepare it. So once you're logged in into your account, you can simply just go to domains uh, section. As an example, first of all, let's just go to a specific site in here. I'll just go, as an example, to this site. Click on it. And I will be, of course, taken here. So here is it. We'll find like an example this specific site. As you can see, for me, I still don't even have a connected domain for it. Of course, I can go as an example here and look for a specific domain. If I don't have it, maybe already. I'll just want to try to get one. Click on let's go. Uh, so as an example, yeah, it's available. So make it yours. So you have two options, of course, to get a domain here in Wix. Either you go and get a plan, a premium plan. Uh, which will get you an example. So if we go here and click on upgrade now, all the plans will give you a, or will get you a free uh, domain as an example. So as you can see, a free domain for a year. Then you'll have to start paying for it. Or, uh, of course, this is uh, the prices here if you pay yearly. If you pay monthly, it's going to be different. So example, this one is going to be $16 instead of 12 if you pay monthly. And other than that, you can simply just buy it. Just click here, buy uh, mrmxexample.com. And as you can see, if you buy it for a year, it's going to be $17.35 or 0.35. So you can click on continue and simply make it uh, yours and buy it. If you want to, as I said, then once you have them, you will have it on your domains as an example. So if you go here as an example, and of course, like once you have it, once you have it ready, uh, make sure, of course, if it's unlocked to, uh, or if it's locked to unlock it, you'll need to unlock it. And this step is very crucial, which will allow you to transfer uh, the domains. If any domain is locked, it will not be able, uh, or it will not be transferred no matter what. And of course, you will need also authorization code. They might ask you for it, so let's have it, why not? Uh, which is also known as EPP code. Uh, in the same, of course, section of domains on Wix, You'll have to look for option to transfer your domain away from Wix. You can click on it. Or as an example, let's just go first of all to Hostinger. Here is an example. If we go to this left panel and click on domains, we have a domain portfolio, get a new domain and transfers. If we go here to transfers, because as you said, we would like to transfer a domain from Wix to Hostinger. Here, first of all, you can transfer a domain to Hostinger. As an example, domain transfer is the process of moving a website's address from one provider to another. So just go and click on that. As an example, first of all, Domain should meet the requirements over 60 days having passed since initial domain registration or last transfer. So if you buy it recently or if you did if you transfer it recently, uh, 16 days did not pass yet, you'll not be able to transfer it. Keep that in mind. So until 16 days pass. Domain should be unlocked. Of course, you can simply just click here and learn more and they'll show you exactly how to unlock it for several websites. Like let's see here if there's Wix. So it's not, there's no Wix in here, but basically we'll need to go to your account and come, uh, the, then the domain provider an example, then go to transfer lock and you'll be able to uh, unlock it if it's unlocked. And of course, you should have an authorization code as we said before. You must have a valid domain authorization code and you can obtain it from the current register, which is Wix's example here. So let's say 
we want to transfer now a domain and let's say we already own a domain for me i'll enter a domain that i own or if because if i enter an example something here and click on transfer an example they will show you like it's not even registered and you can get the domain right now but for me i'll just go here and refresh the page i'll just enter a domain that i own but not on wix just to show you how it's gonna look like so an example it's gonna be like this then click on transfer as you can see for this domain it's not does not meet the requirements why because the domain is locked at the current registered and 60 days hasn't passed yet so for this one example you can learn how to unlock they'll show you how to do it and for this 60 days you'll have to wait if you, if you like solve those two options you can always go here and click on check again and you'll have after that to follow whatever they are gonna say to you basically just all the instructions you will have in screen instructions on how to do it you will have just to follow it it's going to be very simple so if you go to wix website an example if we go to this list panel uh, hover this billing and subscriptions then click on domains example if you have any domain it will show right here so for me as an example i don't have one already of course for you, you can just click on buy now and simply try to buy it. example maybe a dot or shop let's see if it's cheaper than dot com as an example just see and as you can see, if you click on get us again, they'll tell you to do the same. So if you want to get us like uh, through uh, this or through this, as you can see, dot shop, it seems like even like much harder to get or it's uh, require from you more money. So yeah, basically, of course, you'll need to go and get a new one or buy a plan. I prefer to be honest, buy in a plan because it's going to be much cheaper. Or of course, you can even connect your domain here, but you'll require, you'll require a premium plan anyway. So basically in Wix, you'll require a premium plan for anything. So if you have your domain, basically just go to the domains here. You'll find the domain that you have. Just click on it. Of course, in the manage, you can unlock it from there and you can get the authorization code or EPP from there. And it should pass 60 days before like the registration or any transfer and then you'll be able to transfer to hosting without any problem so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye